most lay people think that theories are guesses or hunches or something that you don't have to take terribly seriously. It's not such a big deal. Completely opposite in science. Theories are the most important things in science. What a lot of unfortunately textbooks lead people to to misunderstand is that a really good theory grows up into a law as if uh, theories are, are refined and then become laws and laws are somehow more important than theories. In science actually what a law is is a descriptive generalization so we talk about the laws of thermodynamics that tell you about um, heat under different circumstances. You hear about the laws and study the laws of uh, heredity that Mendel developed, the law of independent assortment and so forth because theories explain laws. So in general the um, the the hierarchy of explanation is very different in science than it is in the general public. The general public puts facts on top, laws next, um, hypotheses and then theories. Maybe theories and hypotheses can move around a little bit. In science, on the other hand, theories are the most important thing. Laws are next most important. Uh, hypotheses are next mo most important. And perhaps the least most important part of a scientific explanation is facts, because facts are a dime a dozen. A, a fact is actually the most trivial construct in science. It's an observation. We say sometimes it's a confirmed observation, but if somebody else doesn't confirm it, which is often the case, it's really just a reported observation. And that's fine. Maybe it's wrong later on. And people sometimes think it's weird that oh, a fact can be wrong, then it's not a fact. Well, that's right, but facts can be wrong. They're just pieces of data. Uh, a hypothesis is more complex. It's it's, it's a, a proposition about how something works in the world that you generally propose after you have some hard evidence, after you have gathered some facts, and you want to propose something to explain it or to explain something else related to it. And the hallmark of a hypothesis is you have to test it somehow. You have to be able, uh, in principle or in practice, really, to um, find some evidence that would work for or against it. Um, Maybe you can't do that exactly now, but at some point it is testable in the natural world. If it's not, it's not a scientific hypothesis. Now a theory, of course, the word that everyone confuses, people think it's what scientists dream up after they've had too much coffee too late at night. Um, and uh, yeah, we can get like that, but that's not what a theory is in science. And, and this is the scientist's fault, because many scientists talk as if a theory is just some kind of wild idea. Um, that's not the way they should use the word. And when they use a word like that, either they're just fooling or they're not thinking seriously, because that would never be called a theory in any science. A theory is the strongest construct in science. It actually is a body of knowledge that purports to explain some major uh, body of fact, uh, hypothesis, some big component of a natural science. Plate tectonics is a theory. Evolution is a theory. Natural selection is even a theory because there's so much involved in natural selection. It's very complex. A theory is not liable to be slain by a single fact. It can be changed a bit, and we change our theories all the time, the body of work that's in it. But we very seldom falsify theories based on things like this. Now, a law is also another word that's used in a lot of different sciences and in different ways. And I would defer on that to people who actually are in sciences where laws are used, because in many sciences, the term law is simply not used. If in some sciences it's an equation, or it reduces to an equation, then it should be called an equation. If in other sciences it reduces to a tautology, that is, it's simply restating what its premise is, then it should be called that. But if the law is, is, is a feature of nature that is inviolable. A lot of people think that's what a law is. But this depends on the discipline. Whereas theory is not like that. Theory is just a large construct of, of, of explanation of the natural world.